Lights stay flicker and the candles glitter like you're in a thriller. Heart goes pound, pound, pound. Ghostly figures, they can get so good and show you want to until you can turn back to. You don't, you don't know where I've been. What's going on inside? Where the monsters like to come alive, come alive. Do you really wanna know me? I'm really not that close. Look at this dream, Hollywood dream. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this was filmed on a Sunday, which is the 25th of September. It is being edited on Wednesday. So this is me immediately after church, headed to my friend who followed me to where I got my tattoo. So basically, this day was my cousin's memorial we got to the tattoo artist and i couldn't really film everything because his office is in his place so that's my tattoo artist his name is top bear i'm going to put a description down below where you can you know visit him and do all of that so this is basically the prep part of it he printed the tattoo and you know gave me wine which was very you know quite thoughtful i actually did request for it and then did all the process and like everything <laughs> at first we had to talk about the pain rates now this tattoo was quite painful considering my first tattoo my first tattoo wasn't as painful as this was I went ahead to ask him about the pain rate because I know that there is a pain rate and he said that this is 7 out of 10 but I decided to still get it done there. We did all of that, started prepping and then we got ready to start the tattoo and guys to be honest I was already freaking out like I was freaking out so we got started and in between the process i was in so much pain even though i was still trying to do badu i was trying to be a badass but i was in so much pain especially when he got to the part of my wrist where i barely had you know where i mostly have my muscle and my vein that part was really painful but after this part um you know the pain kind of became really really mild it, it became very bearable and i loved this process because i had an amazing conversation with my tattoo artist honestly like we went heart to heart conversation at some point i had to tell him to you know keep talking to me so i don't exactly pay attention to the pain and like what he's doing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it didn't take that much i thought to make it shorter but <laughs> i don't know it did not get shorter in any way shape or form so uh you all should just enjoy and you know watch me cry i didn't cry yeah i didn't cry in case you're waiting to see me cry i didn't cry so basically this tattoo is dedicated to my late cousin who while on earth was my best friend my brother you know ibi was literally like everything to me he was my husband i called him hobby he was everything to me he he was my favorite guy and if i start talking honestly trust me i'm not gonna stop but i got this tattoo dedicated to him so what i have is a bird i have two birds oh i'm already giving it out but yeah you guys are going to still see it at the end so it's okay i have two birds so one of the bird is holding a rose so that is me sending him a rose then underneath that is the date of his death and then under the date we have adonai eroi which means the god who sees me you know i went through so much pain i went through so much guilt i went through you know like just phases of different phases of mourning um i went through a phase where i was numb i didn't know what to feel i didn't know how to feel and i wasn't exactly communicating with anybody i went through phases where i cried every single night honestly i went through phases where I was constantly seeing him in my dreams so like 
I never really spoke to anybody about this. I literally was just dealing with all of this by myself. And God was literally the only person who saw me. He was my only comforter. And then that is John 16 verse 22, which basically says, now that you're in your place of pain, joy is gonna come and nobody's going to take it away from you. So I literally just finished my tattoo. Um, it was it was quite painful, not so painful, but it was a bearable pain. And I had such an amazing conversation with my tattoo artist. And then in between me, I was, you know, quite a little emotional because today makes it exactly one year since I lost my best friend. <sighs> and I got this tattoo, like, just pay him in tributes and just to constantly remind myself of how much this person means to me and to constantly remind myself that I have a God who sees me and who watches over me. It's been a really tough one year. <laughs> it's been the hardest one year of my life. You know, having to live life with someone that you're constantly aware of and someone that you know that he's always around um, and just you know waking up one morning and knowing that you cannot hear his voice you can't talk to him you're not gonna look at your phone you're ringing at his hand he's not gonna text you literally all you have is memory i'm not gonna cry again i'm just gonna hold on to it. <laughs> the good vibes you know his laughter his smile i hope that you guys enjoy this tattoo vlog and please do not forget to subscribe share like and you know do all of this thing and i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye chat